This is an overview of Origin 9. In this tutorial, we take a look at the key new features introduced in version 9 of Origin and Origin Pro. I have here an Origin project with folders organized in the Project Explorer window for each new feature. The most significant addition to this version is high-performance 3D graphs and 3D function plots using OpenGL. In the OpenGL 3D Graphs folder, I have two graphs, Graph 4 and Graph 3. They both display the same data as a color map surface. The graph on the left was created using an older version of Origin. The graph on the right was created in Origin 9 with OpenGL. As you can see, the graph on the left has speed mode applied. So not all data and details are visible. Even with speed mode, operations such as rotation are rather slow. With the OpenGL graph, speed mode has been turned off. Lighting has been applied so one can view the surface in all its details. Also, operations such as rotation, zoom, and pan are much faster and easily accessible by keyboard keys. For example, to rotate, I can simply hold down the R key, the mouse pointer changes, allowing me to freely rotate the surface. Please view our tutorial on how to rotate, zoom, and pan OpenGL graphs for more details. Origin 9 also allows you to create 3D parametric function plots. In Origin version 8.6, you could create 3D function plots. In this version, we've added support for 3D parametric function plots using OpenGL. Here you see an example. This is a Klein bottle parametric function. Again, I can hold down the R key on the keyboard and then click and rotate. To customize, I would double click on the plot itself and plot details opens and this is where you can see the function itself. We see the expressions for x, y, and z in terms of the parameters u and v. The before formula script was used in this example to define functions that simplify the expressions used above for x, y, and z. Our 3D OpenGL Graphs sample project file, which I have open here, has many examples of 3D graphs and 3D function plots, along with instructions on how to create them. We also have a video tutorial on the sample OPJ file, so please view that to learn more. Another new feature in Origin 9 is the ability to create movies from graph windows. There's a toolbar button on the standard toolbar, which will open the video builder, allowing you to add one frame at a time from any graph window in your project. However, Laptop Script or Origin C code can also be used to create movies. Programmatic access to movie creation makes it possible to perform data processing or simulations in Origin and have a movie made to display the results. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of movies that were made with code. One was made from this graph here. This movie displays an excitation emission spectrum as a 3D surface with a contour projection. The plot is being rotated around the z-axis. In this movie, global temperature data is plotted as a scatter plot on top of a fill area plot for the world map. Laptop script code was used to change the filter condition in the worksheet to display only, once, only one month's data at a time. The graph was then written as a movie frame at each step of the loop. Another key new feature of Origin 9 is data filtering where you can filter worksheet data by specifying conditions on one or more columns. 
When the filter condition is changed, graphs and any related analysis can be set to auto-update. We have an example here. In this worksheet, we're looking at automobile performance data. The graph to the right displays gas mileage as a function of engine power, and a linear fit has been performed to the data. If I go to the worksheet and want to set a condition on the Make column, I click to select it, and then use the toolbar buttons up here to add a filter. I then need to click on the little icon here to specify my condition. Origin recognized that it was a text column. The data in that column was text, so I'm offered all the unique entries in the column to select from. I'm going to uncheck Select All and just select Honda, for example. Notice what happens when I hit OK. The worksheet updates hiding all other rows that do not meet the condition. The graph is updated and the analysis as well. The linear fit result has been updated. Now conditions can be applied to more than one column. Let me set a filter for column 1. Again, I go up here and turn on the filter, click on it here to enter my condition. Let's enter a condition of year greater than 1996. When I click OK, the data updates again. So does the graph, and you quickly saw the auto update, the recalculate here down at the bottom for the linear fit. Advanced filter conditions can be set, including options to filter date and time data. Previous versions of Origin allowed you to create custom reports by embedding a graph in a worksheet cell. In Origin 9, you can just float the graph in the worksheet. Here we have a workbook where we've performed a linear regression analysis on the input data. Let's take the parameters here. I'm going to right click and copy the table. And I'm going to paste them into this same worksheet here as my raw data. I'm going to do a paste link. We can set a background color. Now let's take the graph itself. I right click outside of any worksheet cells in the gray area. And I can say add graph. Choose graph 5 here from the list of graphs. Now this floats on top of the worksheet here. I can size and position it anywhere I want. And both my table and my graph will update as the source data here changes. I can click on the Import button here. Select another data file. And watch the auto-updating happen. So we have our data, our fit result, and our graph all in this single worksheet. We can now easily export this as a PDF if we wanted by clicking on File, Export, and choose PDF, or any image file for that matter. The Vertical Cursor gadget has been improved in Origin 9, allowing you to operate across multiple graphs. In this subfolder, we have multiple channel data. The test and measurement data is arranged in six sheets. Channel 1 and Channel 10 from each sheet has been plotted as two separate stacked graphs with a shared time axis. I'm going to select from the gadgets menu Vertical Cursor. It will open up for my active graph, and notice I'm viewing the XY coordinate values for each of the six layers. As I drag the cursor, those values will update. If I wish, 
I could add a tag. Now if I wanted to tag across graphs, across multiple graphs, I would come here and I would link another graph. So let me link this additional graph. Now right away I see the x, x and y coordinate values for graph 7 here, the channel 10 data. And when I add a tag, it will add a tag to both graphs. Closing the dialog, we'll remove the cursor but leave the tags. And now you can clearly see that the tag was added at the same timestamp on both graphs. Origin Pro 9 offers implicit function fitting using orthogonal distance regression. In this example, XY scatter data, including X and Y error bars, has been fit with the implicit ellipse function. I can simply left click on the green lock here, go to change parameters, which will reopen the NLFit dialog, and we can look at the formula that was used. If I go to data selection, I can verify that instrumental was set as weighting for both X and Y. Another Origin Pro only feature is a tool for design and implementation of infinite impulse response digital filters. The graph here displays both a raw signal and a result of a Butterworth high pass filter to remove low frequency drift in the signal. Again, I'll click and choose Change Parameters, which will bring back the analysis dialog, and we can look at the different settings. This particular dialog has a number of preview windows here. Filter specification, the magnitude and phase response, impulse response, and there's a number of different filter methods, as you can see listed here in the drop-down list. Please don't forget to check out our website to learn about several other small features and improvements in Origin 9. Thank you for watching.